Uh, if for some reason you missed all the news on Hillary Clinton and her family's foundation this week, allow me to sum it up for you. Politico says, tailspin. Clinton Cash says, India influence. The Boston Globe says, insufficient donor disclosure. The foundation itself says, $68 million spent in 2013 to help others. And Hillary says, I had a really good speech on Wednesday. So all in all, and in sum, was this week a good week or a bad week in terms of Hillary Clinton's chances of ending up the president of the United States? In the history of, with all due respect, this is the hardest question I've ever been asked. Because <laughs> if not, it, it is. I mean, it's not asked speech, you the square root got, of 81 ones. She got great, great coverage for her speech, deservedly so. It's one of the best speeches I've seen her given the context of being a candidate. Uh, but I think the bad thing that happened for her this weekend, it was burned in with elites that the Clinton cash scandal will go on and, and on, on, and, and on and legitimately so from the point of view of not just Republicans and not just the media, but a lot of Democrats. So I would say, on balance, a bad week, but you could argue it the other way. I think on balance, a bad week. I applaud her for her speech. I did on this show. I will continue to say she did an important thing that was a good speech uh, and was the first time she's spoken of substance. Great. Um, this story in the Boston Globe about the Clinton, uh, the health care initiative, which is the biggest of the philanthropies, that for four years did not disclose any foreign donors or any amounts of the donations. I mean, it's the most egregious flaunting of the, of the agreement they made with the Obama administration when she took the job that I've seen. I think it's that's a, just really quite ridiculous. And it's also burning a knot with just with elites. We're seeing poll after poll now that shows that American voters across the spectrum, especially independent voters, see her as untrustworthy. That is a huge problem for her getting elected. There's, a new, the there's a new AP poll uh, today also that suggests people are not excited about her candidacy. And I have to say, to tip it into a bad week, we talked about this yesterday, Bernie Sanders' announcement was strong. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he raised people, a bunch of money in yeah, one day. And people are willing to listen to other voices. And Iowa and New Hampshire in particular, I think those states are still really perilous, particularly Iowa for her, because people want to hear other voices. They don't just want a coronation. And when she's got to engage other voices, she doesn't do that well. I thought on the positive side for her, going after uh, these law enforcement issues. You know, people are going to constantly obsess. Is she repudiating President Obama? Is she repudiating Bill Clinton? The fact is, one of the things that made that speech strong was she believed every... Uh, it wasn't poll tested. It was I from the heart. Agree. Big thing for her if she can keep and, as that up. I, and again, we said, we'll say, I'll say it again. There's no doubt. We clamored for her to do something of substance. She did something of substance, and she did it well. Yep. She, the performance was great. But I got to say, there's just no. There's no, currently there's no objective metric that's like getting better for her right now. The polling is on the down, is, is, is on a downward trend in a lot of places. And as you said, I do think we know from all the stats that we have, people want competition in this race and Bernie you know Sanders I mean? could give them enough of it. You tell me. All right, James wants us to move on, <laughs> yeah. so let's move.